Thank you. <laughs> I am back cleaning off my card mess. We are doing a weekend, not daily. We're doing a daily. No. Wow. <laughs> We're doing a weekend. What is going on? Okay. I actually, let me see. For the weekend, I actually want to use my, or one of my favorite Oracle decks, and that is the Black Moon Astrology cards. These are Don't ask me what's happening. <laughs> so let's see what is the energy of this weekend. Obviously, got to put the candles on again. I think my lighter is dying slowly. So did you guys create something yesterday? Did you? Did you? I will check up on you. Each and every day he will be like, did you? <laughs> I heard, did you release something? Well, did you release something? Was there something you needed to release with them? Could be fear, could be a person. Two cards. Wow. Sagittarius, I see moon, soul. I see soul. So you see with your soul. And we actually have 212. Oh my god. Sagittarius energy. Obviously, there might be something with a Sagittarius or Pisces. We are soon in Pisces season. <laughs> are we dead by now? No, we are not. Close. In the weekend, maybe. <laughs> The new moon in Pisces is coming. Oh, I love this. I would take the book because there's always delicious uh, messages in the book. By the way, that is the picture they used. Strong Sagittarius at a day. Hey, yo, from Sagittarius is up there. I actually have a lot of people in my life who has Sagittarius somewhere. Like, either it's rising or it's um, North Node. And I go well with Sagittarius. I like Sagittarius. <laughs> you guys are just up for Bellel, as we say in Denmark. <laughs> you guys are up for fun and games. Okay. Yes. Maybe that is what you need. You need to be a little bit like, okay, I don't care about what other people say. I'm just going to to, to do this. Why did I land on Scorpio? I transform. Well, maybe some of you guys are dealing with a Scorpio. That's not where I needed to go. Wow. Well, totally have a brain fart. Well, I was close. There you go. <coughs> you are just about ready to hit your mark. Did you hear that? It's the Six of Wands, so it's one of the fame cards. You will have fame. What did we speak about yesterday? You're right. You're right. It says freedom. Exploration, lucky breaks, religion, travel, philosophy, and honesty. Favor favorable conditions are with you. With the moon, feel through. I made it so much more complicated for myself when I had to find the uh, the cards because they are numbered, so I could just go by number instead of looking up the card. Sometimes, right, my Libra brain is just way ahead and my human brain is still looking. <laughs> what does your gut say, question mark? What does your gut say today? The moon asks that question this card is all about a mystery feelings 
and hidden messages. <laughs> Seduction, okay. Nighttime. Hmm, so maybe something happened around night around nighttime. Feeling feelings high emotions. Hmm. You could be moody or restless in a way. But it's because that your soul knows that you're going to do whatever it is that you're going to do. Your human might still be a little bit like, but, 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 but. No more buts. <laughs> no more buts. <laughs> yeah. Go for it. Fame is going to follow. See, there's a <laughs> yes. It's a shoe. You are a little bit like, oh, I need, I need, you know, I could take it and not a break, or and then and not a nap, and then when I wake up, <laughs> I probably know the answer, but then after the um the nap, you're like, well, maybe, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> oh, yeah. I also feel this is a big sign that things will come your way. They will. Things will change. Like, if there is a circumstance in your life right now where you don't see what we have sp been speaking about the past days, just know that it is coming. But with the Four of Swords, I do feel that... There's a Danish saying, something about sleeping on your lower bed, <laughs> How is that? Sleeping on your bay leaves? <laughs> I don't know how to actually translate that. <laughs> Any Danes out there, how do you translate that? <laughs> but it's a it's a saying, I feel, I think I could be wrong. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a saying that you sometimes don't do what you set out to do. Yeah. <laughs> There's one Dane out there who's going to be like, that's not how it is. <laughs> Well, in that case, I made it up. Yeah, there's something about control here. You want to have control over the situation, and the universe is like, ah, 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 we're gonna send you a curveball if you jump into, um, if you jump into being controlling again. You cannot control Sagittarius double Sadi entity. Your spirit guides and angels and whatever else you believe in is actually guiding you in the right direction. It's being like, over here, this way. Yes, there is a dark pond, the void from yesterday that you need to cross, but the universe will create a bridge. Oh, wow. By the way, normally the angels' wings are red, but they are actually blue in this one. Could there be something about communication or speaking? That's interesting. Huh. Beautiful. See, it's back. What are you letting go of? There's something that's still nagging you. If it's a habit. Oh, tingling, tingling, tingling. Oh, I got like, oh my God, a spider. Fear. <laughs> um, yeah. You know what it is that you need to do. Look at that. I mean, how many more signs do you want? Eight of Wands, travel, moving forward fast. And the Chariot, travel, moving on fast, moving forward fast. And the Queen of Swords is someone who really knows where she's going. <laughs> no clue if you guys can see what it is. We need a serious conversation, you and me. Can you feel it? This needs to leave your life. The control, <laughs> my stomach <laughs> agreed. <laughs> the control needs to leave your life, no matter what it is. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when we try to control our mind, it actually turns into blur. And then it is, and then it is that we take naps, right? No more nap times. Now, if you want to get to where you want to be, you need to take action. 
And the action is going to be comfortable. It's going to be creative. It's going to be connected with you, your soul. What do you see? Is there something you see in front of you? Besides me. <laughs> is there something you see around you that is a little hint? Maybe there's something about a picture or a tarot card or oracle card or a vision board. Create that vision board. Do whatever it is that you need to do for you to actually move forward with your dreams. And screw being pessimistic. We don't have time for that anymore. No. I just got confused if it was the right um, oracle deck. Look at that. Have you ever seen this card before? Have you? Have you gotten this card before? Have you? Voyage of the heart. Love flows through you and to you. Everything flows to you at the moment because that you are open. Mm -hmm. It might be something with control that you have to work with in the weekend. But also you can control your life, your emotions. It's very important. If there is something that keeps stopping you on your path, you can control it. So tap into your heart, follow your heart. Yeah, there's also a ship and there is fish. So again, Pisces, the Pisces new moon will be very important for you. And the ship, Voyage, yeah. That's it. I'm